What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video and today I am bringing you guys the best locations for getting XP and other legendary weapons after you nuke them. I tried to make these locations friendly for all levels while maintaining the, you know, maximum XP capabilities and also in this video I will be leaving out the Scorched Queen just because, yeah, it's good for getting some legendaries but oftentimes you're going to get duplicates of some Ultra Sight armor that you already have and it's really not all that great for XP so I will be leaving that out this video. And finally, if you guys are in the market for some dope Fallout 76 items, make sure you check out U4GM. Their link will be in the description. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright everyone, so the first location that we're going to be taking a look at is the town called Mononga. This location can be found pretty much right at the center of the map, and it's just right above that Mononga power plant, and it's really not that far from Vault 76. Now, when nuking this place, I would recommend trying to get as much of this area in as possible, obviously, but try to get in the power plant if you can. I know there's ghouls down there, however, I do, I don't really know if it's that really efficient going all the way down there just to kill a few ghouls, because alone in Mononga, this place is just filled with them. I would compare it coast to white springs um as you can see right here there's not really that much around me right now but if you go around the actual whole town this place is actually pretty big you'll see later like it is a horde of ghouls that are chasing you Another great thing about this place is that if you are a lower level, there are plenty of places here where you can kind of funnel the uh, ghouls into like a single file line and attack them one by one so you're not getting like swarmed by all of them. As well as, as you can see, there's so many different locations where you can just jump onto cars or other obstacles to kind of get away from them if you need to heal or something like that. So what I do is I just come to the outskirts of the town right here and I go into this like little house with a crashed truck outside and then I just go to the back of the house and then let them come in slowly so I can focus and kill one at a time so I'm not getting swarmed because I'm not really all that high of a level on this character so I don't have the best weapons yet but I can still sort of take them out as long as that I'm not getting you know 15 of them coming at me at once. One thing I do want to mention is that if you are one of those people that only likes to farm bloated ones and ghouls, you will want to come here before you launch the nuke because there are a chance that other enemies such as like super mutants or scorched, they can spawn here as well. So if you nuke them, you still get a lot of XP because it turns them into a really high level enemy, um, but some of them may be harder to kill like super mutants. If you do come here and there's not an enemy of your choice that you want here, just server hop and you'll join back and there will be a different enemy spawn so you can just continue to do that until you find one that you want to farm. So moving on, this next location is Lewisburg and sort of all the southern surrounding areas around it, and that's why I really like this location. So this place is similar to Mononga in terms of how several different enemy types can spawn here, so I just decided to see how super mutants worked um, in terms of XP since I don't ever really do that, but Boda ones do spawn here as well. What I found was that super mutants pretty much give you the same exact amount of XP, if not a little bit more, but you're not going to be getting as many legendaries as you would with bloated ones I found. Also, these guys shoot at you, so keep that in mind, but however, I really didn't find that it was that much harder to take these guys out. As you can see, they kind of quit shooting at you if you're, you know, a certain distance away. Since this location is a town, once again, this place is huge, so there are a ton of enemies here, and I'll go on later in the video and show you some other locations surrounding this place where you can find some other enemies. Like this place right here, this is literally just right above Lewisburg, and it's just a short walk away. Um, for some reason, I kind of got screwed over, and this location normally has a whole bunch of ghouls and other wendigos that's in the shelter area but for some reason I only got bugs to spawn here this time which was kind of unfortunate another cool thing about this like little cemetery location is that there are three safes just sitting in the graves so you can go around and lock pick to get some cool you know weapons or even possibly legendary weapons if you're lucky um, they all require lock picking level three but if you have it why not try it so this next location is sort of an honorable mention. I'm aware that everybody pretty much already knows about this location, but it is a best locations video, so this is pretty much the best location in the game. I gotta show it in case nobody else has seen it. So this location is pretty much known as the best place in the game in terms of getting XP and legendary items, and that's pretty much true. As you can see, the amount of ghouls you actually spawn here is just ridiculous, and combine that with perks like inspirational, you can get to level 50 within 3 hours. This has always been my go-to location for farming, and I've leveled up 5 characters to level 50 and 2 to level 100, so um, I have a lot of experience in this game, and I feel like this is probably the best place. I know probably everyone's tired of talking about it, but I had to show it. The fourth and final location I'm going to be showing you is the vault -Tec University and surrounding towns around it. It's important that you get a lot of the Morgantown areas on the Blast Radius as well because those places have a lot of ghouls too. Just make sure you have a point nearby that you can fast travel to if you die because remember you can't fast travel to places inside of the radius of the Blast Zone. So pretty much the biggest advantage that this place has above anything else is the area that you have to kill ghouls is absolutely huge. The size of the blast zone is essentially how big your kill radius is that you have the ability to kill ghouls whenever you count in areas like Morgantown High School and other areas that are just filled with ghouls as well. 
Now, if I were to compare this to any of the other ones that I previously showed in this video, it's probably going to be the worst one. However, the best thing about it is that not really many people know about it. So when you drop a nuke here, most people aren't really going to gravitate toward it. If you put a nuke in the middle of White Springs, obviously everybody knows about that. Everyone's going to go there and it's going to be kind of everybody just competing for kills. So here you can kind of stay on your own. Um, maybe a few people will come over, but you're going to be you're going to be pretty much on your own because not only is this place huge, so there's a lot of area to be spread out and not very many people know about it. One thing I did want to try was to see if that the ghouls inside of buildings were actually affected by the nuke as well because if these were made in the glowing ones that would greatly increase the amount of you know enemies that are in this radius that give you a ton of XP but unfortunately inside of these buildings it's just going to be the standard enemy so if your ghouls in here this is going to be stay as normal ghouls they won't be mutated into bloated glowing ones or anything like that. But this place is still really good despite it being limited to you know only outside areas being affected by the nuke. That is pretty much all for the locations I have to show you today, guys, but there is a few things I want to mention before the video actually ends, and that is that I have been seeing an influx of comments saying that they are bored of Fallout 76, which um, is obvious you're going to get those comments, but I've been seeing it for some subscribers that I've been, you know, seeing for a while here, so I was curious to see what kind of games you guys would like to be seeing other than, you know, Fallout games like that, or even possibly if you guys want to see some Fallout 4, pretty much anything I'm willing to play because I like playing most video games. I have some ideas of what I want to play, but I want to see what you guys actually think, so make sure you leave a comment on what game you would like to see. Also, I didn't put in every single location. Obviously, I had to leave some out. I just put in the ones that I personally use all the time, so if you guys think that I left out a really important location for getting XP and legendaries that you can nuke, make sure you put that in the comment section because you know this is sort of a community I want everybody to know the best locations obviously there might be even one something that I don't know so other than that that's pretty much all I have to say today guys if at any point you did enjoy this video or just found it helpful please consider subscribing it helps out the channel a ton and also if you're feeling generous make sure you turn on those notifications as well so you can be here first for all the new Fallout 76 content so keep grinding stay driven and I will see you guys in the next one bye